So the multiverse stuff that you talk about? Different potential outcomes branching out into new timelines. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me Ingress. And this 2023 film was directed by Rachel Noel James, who actually stars in it as well, along with Johnny Farrow and Christopher Clark, among others, of course. The story of this movie is that there's this woman and she has recently lost her husband, so she's grieving in her own way. She also, though, has the ability to switch into parallel dimensions or parallel realities, most of which are, you know, very similar to the realities that she left, but some are, you know, bigger differences happen here or there. And so she is trying to kind of repress that ability so that she just stays in this one universe. However, though, she runs into this other person with powers and that person, he's like a self-help author or something like that. And what he does is he channels this interdimensional guru that then, you know, helps people with advice and whatnot. And so together they have to, you know, figure out what's the best way to respond to this situation. Of course, there's other things that, you know, entangle them together. What will happen though? Well, for that, you got to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, with this one, I gotta say I did enjoy the sci-fi concepts that they're dealing with. I liked the author and how he's channeling this interdimensional guru or something. But they do speculate that it might be like an alien that he's channeling. Of course, an alien from a different dimension. But, you know, c'est la vie, you know, that's just the finer details of it all. They also have the woman who can transfer to different, you know, parallel universes. And her kind of understanding of that I thought was interesting. She does do like a big exposition dump on you with like what's actually going on with her. I also liked how they show the transfer between different dimensions. There's just kind of like waves around her head and stuff like that. And she gets dizzy. And at first you don't know what's really kind of going on with it. But, you know, it takes a moment to figure out, you know, oh, this is her ability. And so that I thought was interesting as well. And kind of the interplay between those two things as well. How does the interdimensional guru kind of advise this woman or what does he have planned for both of them you know it's all kind of very entangled and you know somewhat interesting other than that with this movie it's like a sci-fi drama and they do kind of rely on the characters to get that drama across of course you know with the idea of grieving and everything it certainly does work with this one all of the characters i gotta say i enjoyed them i enjoyed the woman i enjoyed the author I probably like the author a little bit more, but he's a little bit more, you know, out there. And at first you're like, is he like making a cult? And then what's this all about? And I don't know, it's just character driven stuff. It sometimes does not work for me with this one. You know, I did want to figure out, you know, what is going on with these guys and how they're going to resolve all of this and how they even connect too. And so it is kind of interesting with all of the different characters. And there's not many characters, right? There's only really kind of these two guys. There's other things in there like, you know, the idea of the dead husband, a therapist, you know, the publisher for this guy's book and all this other stuff that, I don't know, makes it so that you can, you know, go along with these guys and watch what they are doing. Also with this one, you know, everything's well shot. I thought it's all very kind of clear, crisp, well kind of thought out shots. The sound is good too. And the acting is pretty good as well. So all the technical stuff certainly does work in this one. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, with this one, I kind of think the drama gets in the way of the sci-fi. And so, of course, you know, they're trying to grieve and, you know, come to terms with everything. And I was just there for, like, the interdimensional guru and the switch in dimensions. So there certainly are things that kind of, you know, slowed it down for me. I also thought it was a little long as well, to tell you the truth. And the reason for that is there's just some scenes where, like, I question why they're even in there. Like there's one scene with the author guy and he's like typing on his computer, you know, writing his next memoir or whatever. And then he gets a call from his mom. And so he picks up and he's like, oh, mom, I can't talk right now. I got to go. And then, he, you know, types on his computer for a minute more. And then you'll never believe it. His phone rings again and it's a telemarketer. And so he's there to go, take me off your list, take me off your list. And then he just goes back to typing. And I'm just like, why is this 
scene in there like did we really need him to get a phone call from a telemarketer it's bizarre that way sometimes but regardless there are certainly things you can get into with this one but there's also you know things that bring it out of it another thing that i would say kind of brought me out of it too was some of the motivations of these two characters it just seems like they're motivated by visions that they're having which aren't particularly explained and even then like I would not let a vision such as it is in the movie, like manipulate what I'm going to be doing. And even then, like it kind of goes against helping your friend, what you see in your vision. And I don't know, maybe you're seeing a different reality or something like that. So some of these things are just a little bit wishy-washy. And so that is also in this one. So ultimately, would I recommend it? I think you have to be in the mood for any drama movie. So if you are in the mood and you feel like watching something with some sci-fi elements, this is kind of a smaller story as well. So it's not anything, you know, overly dramatic or overly epic or anything like that. It's really just about two people being entangled in this world we call life. So if that's something you want to see, kind of a more kind of in the life of drama sci-fi thing, then yeah, sure. Why not press play on this one? As for a rating, well, ultimately, it's an okay movie. So I'm going to give it the four. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.